baseball for you on a Tuesday night from Tropicana Field. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Boston Red Sox and the Tampa Bay Rays. Tommy Pham, the American League's batting leader, steps into the box. Coming up next. Ryan Stanek is ready. Ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Tampa Bay. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, we're getting a look at a real competitive pitcher here. Career ERA in the low threes, and that's not an easy thing to do in the day and age of small ballparks and guys swinging for the fences. Rock solid pitcher, does a lot of things well, and it'll be fun to watch him work in this one here today. In now, Eduardo Nunez. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight. All you can really say is they've been on one heck of a run. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Now a swing and a miss on the slider as the leadoff man is set down on strikes to open up the ball game. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Dero, what's the key in trying to stop their opponent's winning streak? Yeah, Matty, this lineup has struggled to score runs the last couple games, last three to four games to be exact. They're going to have to manufacture it in a different way. Can't wait for that two, three run homer. They're going to have to get guys on base, put the defense on their heels a little bit, maybe a little hit and run, maybe a little old school baseball. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. Strike one to start the at bat. Bases are empty, one man out. And here's one that misses to Pedroia, and the count evens at one and one. Pedroia, affectionately nicknamed Laser Show, he's in year one of a new three year deal. Can't imagine he comes back with a third breaking ball. That hitter looked like he timed that one up pretty well and just missed it, fouling it away. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. Batting third. Here's J.D. Martinez. First at bat for him here as he enters Martinez. play seventh in the American League in round triplers. In there, and it's 0-1. Here's a splitter that's taken for a ball one and one. Fouled off. And we're just underway from Tropicana Field. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Boston nothing. Tampa Bay coming up. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Rick Porcello, a right-hander from the Garden State of New Jersey, gets the ball here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, we look a lot at numbers from starting pitchers, walks to innings pitch, but one of the key stats I look for is whip. And he has a sub 1.30 whip coming into this start, which tells me he throws strikes. He's not afraid to get the ball in the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if he can string together some real quality innings in this one. Bradley is there, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now a moment here in St. Pete second. for a glance at the, the Rays starting baseman. lineup. Who are you focused Matt. on Dan please Zach? Look Matt everybody should be looking at the guy in the three spot. He said over 500 the last 10 games. He's absolutely on fire. If I'm in that other dugout right now I'm thinking this is the guy that we can't let beat us. We'll see how they attack him in this game. First pitch of the at bat. 
Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he's not stopping. He wants three. And he is in there. And he will that add yet first. another game to his over. incredible hitting Dummies. streak as it now reaches even further yeah. into the stratosphere. You know, Dero, I don't know if this thing's ever going to end. This guy's been raking now for almost two months, and he's swinging the bat just as good now as when this streak started to start it off with his first base hit. Yeah, it, do it doesn't seem like he's coming out of it anytime soon. I wonder the pitcher that would create such a tough matchup for this guy to shut him down because he's playing with the big part of the field. He can beat you in so many different ways. And this number's getting just straight ridiculous. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They come into this one looking to make amends for a loss last time out that put an end to a seven-game winning streak. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And they're going to hit the board first tonight as this ball's down for extra bases. The relay. And he is in there with an RBI triple. So he picks up another hit. First Batting of the game, four. but as we've mentioned, it's just one of many Number so far 43. this season for him. Yeah, Matty, I know he's fighting for a batting title right now, but the consistency this guy has shown from start to finish this season has been awesome for this team. Talking to the manager before the game, he's the one guy when he walks in the clubhouse door, you know exactly what you're getting from him. Stepping in now, Michael Perez. He swings and sends it on a line to right center. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And that'll score the run from third as they go up two to nothing now. And he'll reach second now with one away. You don't think being a starting pitcher in this league will test your result? He's already given up more runs in the first hey. inning in this one than he did his entire last start. That's the kind of roller coaster ride that will make you a little crazy. But that's kind of how baseball works sometimes. Now to the plate, Eric Thames. He comes into this one ranked number six in the American League home run race. Yeah, guys, this isn't a shocker right here. He is definitely known as one of the best pure power hitters in baseball these days. There is Pagoya, and that's the second out. At the plate, Daniel that's Robertson, and he's the right man for the job with runners in scoring position as he ranks fifth in the AL in RBIs entering play. Well, big-time power threats like him tend to rack up a lot of RBIs. He's also way up there on the home run leaderboard. You know, I think this is a big situation in this game. They've got to lead by a couple of runs, but they don't want to look back on this inning when this one's over and think that they left some. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Here's Mookie Betts. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. And set up behind the dish is Clyde Washington, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. You know, D-Row, he is a pitcher's best friend, Clyde Washington. Down in the strike zone, he'll definitely call that ball right at the knees. If he's consistent with it, Dan, which Clyde always is, I'm okay with it. The 0-2 once more is swung on and missed strike three. Okay, here's how the race set up on defense today. And guys, the things I want you to focus on today, one of them being this manager loves to shift. He has the pitching staff to trust to be able to manipulate his defense to try and get as many outs and play the numbers as much as he can. Here it comes. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2 every time you go out there to start a game on the mound you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove and he's definitely done that so far in the early going looks like he could go pretty deep into this one the one two 
is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Boy, he's having a hard time just putting the ball in play right now. He took the hat trick with three strikeouts yesterday, and here's another one today. Looks to me like he just needs to simplify his approach and focus on making some contact. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Yeah, Matty, he's very late on that first pitch. I, I, I got to think he was guessing off speed. 0-2 oh the count to Benintendi. He's one pitch away from striking out the side. But even more than that, to throw a donut up after your offense put up some runs, I can't tell you what that means to the boys in the dugout. And this is popped up back behind second. Wendell is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Down in order. Go the Red Sox. They're down two to nothing. Into the box, Willie Adamas. And he enters Leading play off. today, Order currently Ray. fifth in the American League Not in hitting. Stop. There's no way Willie. you could have forecasted Adamas. this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for at uh, one sack is that ball is into the gap in right center should be good for at least two bases and the Rays are in business to kick off the inning it's a leadoff triple the second this thing got past Batting the it. outfielder you the knew it was fielder. at least a double a possibly ball. a triple but he turns oh, on the afterburners yeah. and is safely into third Stepping in, Guillermo Heredia. Early RBI spot for him here, and not a bad guy for the job. Currently ninth in the American League in runs batted in. Yeah, here we are in the middle of summer, and he just keeps contributing in a great way by driving in runs. He's been taking advantage of run scoring opportunities all season long. That pitch was right down the heart of the plate, but obviously this guy had made up his mind on the on-deck circle. He was taken all the way, and he was going to zone him up. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. Batting up, the first baseman, G-Man Choi. G-Man Choi, the next to hit. First at bat for him as he enters play third in the American League batting race. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. Turned on down the line. And he tries to go to a knee to block it, but it's by him down the right field line. And they keep rolling here. Their runners at the corners with still nobody out. Now back, you know, that's sort of a tough base. one since it's only Go the ahead. second inning. But I think it's about knowing Let's your go. pitcher and how they respond. He's had some struggles here, so I think he's just reminding him to let those go and focus on the next batter. Digging in, Joey Wendell and their runners at the corners now. 